again with an attack in broad daylight on a busy street and a suspect caught on camera. Authorities need your help identifying the man. They say assaulted two women at 20th and the Parkway. Action News reporter Sharifa Jackson is live from the Parkway with more on the investigation and a community now shaken. Sharifa. Yeah, Christy, Sarah, is definitely a scary situation for those two women here along the parkway. Again, police, they say it happened in broad daylight. And we know this is typically a busy area, lots of tours. Now, while police, they continue to search for the alleged attacker, neighbors tell us is a reminder to always remain vigilant. Surveillance video shows a man walking along the 2000 block of the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. Just minutes earlier, he allegedly attacked two women. Philadelphia police say it happened Sunday, September 15th, around 9.45 a.m., a woman also walking in the same area was tackled to the ground and punched several times. Police say another woman attempted to jump in and help, but was also pushed to the ground. It wasn't until a good Samaritan stepped in that the suspect walked away. I try not to walk around here at nighttime. You know, we're careful. For women, the reaction, a mixture of heartache for the victims and fear. Sylvia Russo walks the area often. We showed her the surveillance for the first time. I've been living here since after COVID and things changed since that time. And it's a little sad. The man is described by investigators to be around six foot three inches, wearing sunglasses, a black top, black pants, tan shoes. He's also seen carrying a green bag and black backpack. Neighbors say they'll be on the lookout. I just hope that people can, and that everybody can feel safe in the city they live or work in. It's that's just should be a basic requirement. I hope that this person who uh, is responsible for this is uh, is caught quickly. Yeah, and as this investigation continues, police, they are asking anyone if you may recognize that man in the surveillance, specifically the distinct green bag that he was carrying to contact authorities. We're live from the Parkway, Sharifa Jackson, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah. Okay, Sharifa, hopefully somebody identifies him. Thank you.